There you go. Yeah. 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 No, I, just, I can see it here, kind of. Okay. Yep, all right, we're good. What's that? Too much. All right. Well, we knew this was going to be a fun one. There you go. Now I got it. Isa. 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 Okay. Isa. Yeah. Morning from Cali. What's going on? Thanks for joining us today. This is a new show that we've started. Um, we hope you guys enjoy it. The name of the show is High Level Talk 12 Volt News. What's that, David? It's Good early day. Friday morning. Not really. I mean, it's 9 o'clock. Anyways, we put together a bunch of news that we thought was relevant, or at mm -hmm. least we thought was kind of cool, and we're going to go for it. We're going to have some fun for... You know, see how this show goes. We hope to make this a regular thing. Obviously, the more regular it becomes, the more of you will chime in. But for those few that are here, let's get going with the mm -hmm. news. Are you ready? Do you think we should start with the weather? Um, no. You sure? I mean, mm. it's it's Florida. It's hot and humid. Yeah, but as it's going to be every day. It's hot and humid, gonna followed by a little exactly. bit of hot and humid, maybe a little bit of rain later today. Le rain last night. Yes. Totally sucked. Yeah. So no like run. Like really bad. Yeah, I had no like run. here it was crazy. Victor. What's up, Victor? Um, so yeah, no... That was no run yesterday? No run yesterday. Yeah. Totally sucked. Yes, but, totally. All right, so um, you know what we need to do is grab the cup. Because we've got to give away the cup. Yeah. So, uh, real quick, let's go over our show sponsor this morning, just so you guys know what it is. Ground Zero, fine makers of German automotive high-end car audio. That's right, they are the fine sponsors of this new show. They started back in 1995 on this same time frame, which means that they are celebrating the 25th anniversary. That's right. Right now, you can pick up a special anniversary set of 25. Five, 20, the 25th anniversary speakers. Yeah. There's only 100 in the United States. Most of them are bought up now, so make sure you head over to your Ground Zero dealer. Dealer. You can find them at groundzerousa.com. We want to thank them for being a proud sponsor of the show and providing us with these fine Ground Zero coffee mugs. One of you guys are going to win this, so we'll figure out who later on. But that gives you encouragement to stay on. It has a nice yellow inside. So I you love can it. sip That's your coffee cool. while yeah. listening to us Friday mornings talk about this. So we'll do that at like the halfway point. So about 15 minutes in, we, yes. we're going to grab one of you guys, and you guys will get the mug. Do you grab one of um, these guys? Yep. Yeah, yeah we'll, nice. we'll do that. First up in the news is a... We're, so how we're going to break this up is we're going to do some quickies, and then we're going to get to our big story. Uh, first up in the news yeah. is this guy right here, Alpine Car Audio. And you're thinking, wow, what could these guys have? They're 52 years in. Sound. What could they possibly have that... It's exciting? Yeah. Tell me. Well, I... Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, they have the new release of their subwoofer enclosures that they've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Yep. For uh, a couple months now. Uh, let's yeah. go here. So this is the Halo subwoofer enclosure. Mm -hmm. It comes in both R-type and S-type. Mm -hmm. And what's unique about it is the back here. You see where there is what looks like six holes in the speaker cup. The reason why it is like that is because they make this brace assembly here for the front. This is a better yeah. view of the front right here. And the idea behind it is that you can take two of these which I think is a wonderful idea. You can take two of these. Hold on, we gotta fix this tape. Okay. Because that's gonna drive me crazy. Um, you can take two of these and put them together so that you have two sub box. Yep. Uh, the nice thing about it is if you wanna buy one today, one tomorrow, 
You Doesn't can, yep. and then you just buy the, the the back brace, front brace combination package here. This is made out of metal, mm -hmm. so it is like rigid and it is not gonna break. It's not chintzy plastic or anything like that. So the, the black metal, it goes in the back? Yes. And goes, of course the front, is like this you see cool it. silver piece. Yep, it That goes is designed to go over the ports. Mm -hmm. So it screws in and covers those two port areas. Now go back to the, uh, to the other one. And there's the back. There you go, right so there. So you can see yeah. those six holes. And mm -hmm. where the speaker cup is, is where those two U-channels are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that allows you to buy them. S-Type 10s and 12s, R-Type 10s and 12s. Uh, for retail price of the, the S is gonna be $299.95 for one. It's gonna be $100 more for the R-Type. The 12 is a $20 increase. So that's always the big thing. I'm like, how much more is it to go to 12? Right. It's 20 bucks. So that gives you a combined total of $800 for the box plus the $80 piece of metal to go in there. It's up to you. I'm not here to discuss pricing other than to say that's what it costs in case you're interested. Mm -hmm. It's finally so coming. It's going to be shipping uh, at the end of this. Should be starting to hit stores next week. Yeah. So, so head your local rep. <laughs> head, head to your local rep and pick those up. I'm gonna save this one for yeah for later. For a little later. Yeah. Uh, I want I want this story. Now this story is something that I found to be really interesting. Um, so a little back. This is another Alpine story. So for those of you that are like Alpine story again, that's right, another Alpine story. Yeah, why not? Alpine in the house. All right. So one of the things that uh, hold on. Ah. one of the things that Alpine did this year that was unique is they decided to go to. Uh, move to, as it were. Mm -hmm. What is happening here? This is not going to work now. Really? I'm doing picture in a picture on herself. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I don't want to see myself again. I don't want to see myself either. Still, no. Nope. Right. Ah! I love how things work perfectly and then they don't. Um, all right, so Alpine decided this year that they were going to, well, the end of 19, move from California where it's hot, sunny, and sexy to Michigan. Well, and the know. reason why they moved to Michigan, my former place of residency, is that is where the automotive world exists. That's where the big three are. That's where all the, that's, that's it. That's if you want to be on the pulse of the, of the automotive world, you move to Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. The reason for doing that is because they want to get more into the OEM side, the factory side. Uh, right now you have the Jeep that has the Alpine system. Um, there's been other cars that have had Alpine systems, but they want to become that. They want to become the Sony, the Beats by Dre, the Mark Levinson, the the OEM. They want to go system. after that. Yeah. So in order yeah. to do that, they need to be there in the heart of that industry and not four hours away. Mm -hmm. In doing so, they're going to bring their big guns to bear, and that is Macintosh, the Sonus company. All right, apparently Macintosh and Sonus are the same company. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just gonna refer to it as Macintosh for right now, but safest to say, they're teaming up with them to help them design Alpine Macintosh Sonus systems that are gonna be labeled Macintosh or Sonus. Some of these cars are gonna start hitting the uh, streets next year, 2021. Mm -hmm. So what does this mean for us in the aftermarket world? Because in the factory world, I really don't care. I mean, I don't, I'm not excited that you're going to be able to buy a car, prefer, let's say, a Cadillac with a Macintosh system. It's cool if you're going to buy a Cadillac to have a Macintosh system in it, designed, designed built by Alpine with, you know, Macintosh help or, yeah. or Sonus, um, which are two brands that are real popular in the home world, and they're going to go after all those brands. But I... This line in this article is the only reason why I thought this was relevant. And this is okay. from, this is from uh, Macintosh themselves. Yep. It says, we felt this was the perfect partnership since Alps, Alpine, and Macintosh Laboratories share the same values regarding in-cabin sound reproduction. Our strategy team with Alpine is perfect avenue mm -hmm. for Macintosh to take for making a long-awaited return to car audio. This is Charlie Randall, of, who is the CEO of Macintosh and President of the company. Mm -hmm. This last line, 
We are not ready to transform our car audio into the next. We are ready to transform our car audio into next great sounding listening room. And where was the? There was another line in here. Okay, this is it right here. The company has no plans to offer aftermarket products in the near future. Okay. So basically what they're saying is, is if you want to be a, a half empty or half full kind of guy, a half full kind of guy, is that the near future, they're not ready to get into the aftermarket world. So we're not going to see amplifiers and speakers. In the near future. Right. But that doesn't mean we're not going to see them in the future. Right. Right. So that means that I'm thinking that maybe four or five years down the road. You think that far? Or maybe huh? not even that far. Mm. Maybe three or four years I, down the I, road. I'm going with like we'll two, three years. We'll see a resurgence years. of yeah. Macintosh amplifiers mm -hmm. or speakers yeah. or both in our world. Now this is nice because they will be teaming up with Alpine. So Alpine being the company that they are, will be able to move them into this a lot better than the previous. Yes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, when Macintosh was entered into car audio before, they were owned by Clarion. Uh, mm -hmm. Clarion bought and controlled the assets of Macintosh. When they came out, it was a disaster. Even though everyone always remembers Macintosh fondly, it was a total nightmare. The engineers didn't know anything about car audio and they didn't understand how the amplifiers were supposed to be designed and so the failure rate of the amplifier when it first came out for a simple problem of internally grounding the amplifier to the heat sink which they did not do caused a catastrophic failure on the amplifier and pretty much the whole first batch of the amplifier died uh, I know this only because the company I worked for at the time bought all those reconditioned amplifiers. We bought $50,000 worth of reconditioned amplifiers. It took up four pallets and consisted of pretty much everything. Hmm. It was rectified and later, you know, it was a running change in the amplifier that fixed it and went off to become the brand that it was. But those first amplifiers, because they really didn't have a foothold in the car audio industry, were kind of screwed up. Coming at it now with Alpine as a backer and 52 years of car audio experience, um, I think we could see a really cool product come from them in a couple years. And, and like they say, you know, Macintosh engineers and Alpine engineers are going to work together to come up with, of course, that system that everybody's going to be excited about. Well, and that's what I was... you buy well, that Robert, Robert, brand new car. Mr. Van Hoyt there had my first thought was rebranded Alpine. Macintosh is too big of a company mm. and way too cool to do that. Alpine makes some really nice products. However, I think if Macintosh does come back in, they're going to be going after that really elite price point. You know, that luxury. I'm, I'm going to say gonna like a that luxury, luxury car. Uh, yeah, we're talking like, you know, fifteen to twenty-five hundred dollar amplifiers. I mean, back then, the four by fifty watt amplifier had a retail of nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the high side, eight ninety nine was the going rate for a four by fifty watt amplifier. Keep in mind, it was this big. But they had a really high price point back in the 90s when they were out. So. Uh, yeah, I saw the two amplifiers that they have, and I'm like, oh, Well, those are, those are. God, that's home audio. Yeah, no, yeah, I know, that's... but that's still, it's like, why not? All right. Yeah. Um, another thing, since, let's just, let's just finish this out real quick. Since we mentioned Clarion, uh, Clarion, for those of you that don't know, a lot of people don't actually, are, is owned by a manufacturer that most you know and love. And who is that, you might ask? And for those of <laughs> you, really? yep. Oops, it's gonna take its time loading out. Uh, Clarion has turned into a marine audio company only here in the United States. They make marine stuff. And if you'll notice next to a lot of these, they say new. And the reason why, oh, hey, come back. And the reason why they say new is that a new manufacturer has bought Clarion Marine, taken over, and has run with them. And what they've done is they've released a new set of speakers that are affordable. They're white, they have LEDs behind them, and why is this relevant, you might ask. And that's because the owner of the company, and mm -hmm. that is JL Audio. For those who don't know, JL Audio has purchased and has owned them for about a year now, and has finally started to come out with the products that they want to move Clarion Marine into. Uh, up until then, it's just been continuing on the, the current run of products that Clarion has had, but now that JL has their paws into the company and is full control of it, mm -hmm. if you go back to this and you look at these little controllers, they do have a somewhat JL feel to them. 
However, JL wanted to come into the market as in a more affordable price point. Yeah. Because as we all know, uh, Marine guys like you know the guys that are in Marine JL commands commands. Yeah. One of the highest prices in Marine audio. So by buying. Uh, Claire and Marine, that gives them the ability to introduce products that they might not be able to introduce because they are held to this high standard. And sometimes when you're held to that, it's hard to come in with entry-level product because it just gets washed under the table as a failed attempt at doing that. Okay. So to me, this gives them the ability to bring in a product that is a great product yeah. under a good brand yes. um, and control it and have some fun with it. I'm gonna say they they gonna they gonna kill the marine market. Yeah, like well, they, I mean they're they're owning it now. They owning it now, but right now it's like but with, they're owning with it at the high level. So and, and Clarion be, was always a really good marine. Thing. That, was, that a, was the only thing in the U.S. as Clarion started to run towards uh, the end of its life here mm -hmm. was the marine stuff was keeping it going. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, now owned by uh, owned and controlled, and finally releasing products that they have made yes. and marketed and done the research on uh you know although we don't do pretty we, we sell a lot of marine we don't do a lot with marine i'm excited for this plus it also allows dealers that aren't in that jl ecosystem i'm just wondering if you like us as a dealer um we can just become like yes. clarion and dealer yes you, you could know, and, that, like, and that's where that i was tech, going with yeah. that you, you could get into that ecosystem so you not get the jail but you get clarion so it's like all right yeah. Anyway. No, that's a good thing. Cool. Um, all right, so you had a story that you wanted to talk about. Let me, yes. Let me go to that website. What is For, it? Uh, e yes, A. All right, so for you guys, the they've been wondering, like, what is the best radio? What is the best amplifier? What is the best DSP? Uh, right now, the European company... Isa. Uh, Isa came out with this list for car uh, for the car car audio world car audio <laughs> world exactly thank you, you that's know. okay man it's early in the morning we're, we're, this yeah, is gonna exactly. take a minute I all right let me let me coffee. go to the laptop page here yep I'll switch over we'll turn on picture in a picture now one thing to know about Isa is Isa is not a United States based um, awards group mm -hmm. we have the CEA here yeah um, so ESA is a European or you know across the pond way over mm -hmm. there where car gift is yep um, um, but these guys actually uh, put together they do this every year every year uh, different people so they look the products and they come up with this list and most um, of these products are European products Yes, um, some I mean, of not, this. Not, I mean, mainly just because the U.S. market, you know, it's like. So let's hit the have? let's hit the head units real quick. Yeah. Because the head units is like. Right now, Kenwood with a ten inch, that's the that's the best radio right now. And this is their version of the ten inch in the U.S. It will have a different. This model is a number. different model number, uh, correct? Mainly because of the FM tuner. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so that is the hot for 2020 and 2021. And then, so that's the best radio. Right. Helix one for best in-car sound processor. Uh-huh. Uh, it looks like in a different category, Ground Zero also won for well, best in-car value DSP. The, 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 exactly. Ground Zero is for the best value. So, so if you are looking you're, for you're that. Banking. Now, as far as the Ground Zero one goes, we should be getting our hands on this. Soon. Hopefully, yeah. Um, so for those of you guys waiting for a review on this product, want to see what it's We're all about, that, yeah. we should have that shortly because, as yep. we know, Ground Zero is a sponsor of the show. And as promised, we want to, we'll take a pause real quick, and we need to give this away. Yep. Uh, I can tell you right now who's not going to get it, which Ooh. is Mr. Timmy GT, who clearly didn't read the, this is not a Q&A show. So <laughs> he, he, he doesn't get this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what we need to do is we need to come up with someone to give this to. What are you thinking? We didn't think that through. No, we didn't think that through. I mean, like, I just want to give it what you say. Yeah, you want to grab some people. Grab right? someone. All right, let's see. Uh, all right. We'll come up with a better way to do it next week. Yeah. But this week, pick someone, man. You can do it. The pressure's mm -hmm. on. Coming, 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 coming. Pressure is on. All right, um, 
having this guy right here, a 901, the guy that he came first. Oh, the first guy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's David. All right. Uh, David. David Moreau. Moreau. David Moreau, you were the first one in. You win the first cup. You were the first guy to chime in this morning. David, what I need you to do, if you're still listening, is send me an email to mm -hmm. carstereotalk at yahoo.com. That's car stereo talk mm -hmm. at, yaha at, at yahoo.com. Send me your email with your name, and I will come back with you and tell you what you need to do. Yep. Um, so thank you for watching. Now back to this real quick. There you go. Uh, I want to wrap this up only because I want to get to our main story. Yeah. Uh, so other winners were, of course, we had Moscone Gladen with the Atomos amplifier, Eton with the uh, Stealth DSP amplifier, Correct. and it looks like, who is that? Ah, In-car speaker system? In-car speaker system, yes. I was, I was shocking about that Hyphonics one. Hyphonics with the woofer. Hyphonics with the woofer, exactly. Well, why not? You know, Kenwood, um, another Kenwood, dash cam. Dash cams. And an Audison Bit 1 HT Virtuoso. for high-end components. Correct. And then last but not least, the camper van head unit. Okay. Well, that's neat. Uh, all right, so for the big story of the week, the mm -hmm. big story of the week, and this is, and I mean big story of the week. Excited Morel about this. came out and introduced a bunch of new products. Yeah. And what makes this fun, and, and it's right here, so you can head over to morelhifi.com mm -hmm. and you can watch the video or read more. They talk about this whole new gold series. Um, I love this, the suitcase. Uh, thing yeah <laughs> it's pretty awesome products car audio reference series and we will come down here to hyper three-way set Ooh. Yeah. all right why is this important well they had a huge show you can also find them on Facebook and watch it and the, the purpose of this live event that they did was to introduce the whole new product line for 2020 2021 going forward and what was really cool about it and that I just was like totally taken away with is the production value that they put into this. So they really thought this through. It was like watching an Apple event or a Google event. I mean, granted, it wasn't a giant stage. It was two people. But that to think that a, a company could do this and... That they've been doing it for so yeah, many years. Yeah, and just put this awesome event together. And it was really well done. And I, if you're a Morel fan, you definitely want to check it out. But... What that means to you and I is we got a bunch of new Morel products and they're sexy. New line, yep. Sexy as hell. This is a picture of the new Elate Carbons yep. Pro. Mm -hmm. All right. Now they're gonna have two versions of the Elate Carbons, one regular and one Pro, and the big difference is the tweeter. So the non-Pro version is going to come with a normal size everyday tweeter that will fit into most cars on the road. Correct. The pro version is going to come with the big tweeter that you see there that obviously is going to take a little bit more work, pardon me, to get it in. Now the big difference on these is of course the carbon cone that you're looking at mm -hmm. that was first introduced on the uh, carbon ultra mini, uh, the carbon, the pancakes, Yep. Um, the nano carbons nano is carbons. now being introduced into the uh, Elite. Elite line. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm as far as I know we're still getting a uh, we get a so it's a new carbon cone a new spider and also it still has the giant three inch voice coil for maximum control mm -hmm. and we're getting the new three inch mid-range right there the new mid-range that's coming out is gonna be a first in it because it's a cone mid-range most of the time you get a dome mid-range Morel is known for their domes mm -hmm. but they're making a cone mid-range uh, which they explain in the videos for better imaging and for better staging up on the dash because they're finding that's where a lot of these things are going. Mm -hmm. It's going to have a two and a quarter inch voice coil. It's going to be a monster. So this three-way set is already built. So I believe it's already on the website. I've seen them in the wild. So if you're interested in picking up, you still have the nine inch, which is the big guy there. So there's a lot of options as far as how you want to configure them. You can mm -hmm. buy them a la carte. You can buy them as a group, whatever you want to do with crossovers, without crossovers. It's a brand new line. 
super sexy looking. Yes. We also got an update to the popular hybrid line. Now, something that was um, um, something that we learned about the hybrid line, because the hybrid line has always been somewhat of a mystery to us. We didn't really understand why that line existed, what made that line unique, because uh, it just didn't fit. You go from the Virtus, you go into the Elates, and then there's this hybrid line that it's 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 definitely a hybrid between somewhat of a yeah. Virtus, but not really because. But what it is about the hybrid that makes it so special is it, it takes from the Elates that awesome basket, but it shrinks down the voice coil to a 2.1 inch voice coil instead of a three inch voice coil. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they do that is because the speaker is more efficient and built to work off of less power. So for example, when you're going to buy like a Merle amplifier that's 70 watts by four of AB class power, mm -hmm. these speakers are designed to work with that amplifier. They're designed to play and be more efficient, which we've talked about yeah. on other shows, how if, you know, if you buy a more efficient speaker, you can put less power to it, it'll get just as loud and sound just as good. Yep. So the hybrids were designed to work that way. So some of these multi-channel DSP amplifiers that only put out 70 watts per channel, the hybrid line is what you'd be interested in. Now, what makes the hybrid unique or, or new this year is a mm -hmm. whole new look, as you're seeing, they're changing the, um, the grills on these to a mesh grill. So now you're gonna get a mesh grill instead of this spoked looking stamped steel grill yeah. that they came with in the past. Everything is moving to this new grill. Now, there is the, what do they call it? Um, Lotus style grill, which is on your tweeter and your mid range, and then your mesh style grill, which is gonna be on your mid base. Uh, I like this grill because there's no pokey pokey on yeah, it. Yeah. And the basket is part of the grill. So the basket is built in a way that the grill is just gonna snap into place. Mm -hmm. But what you're seeing in the center of the screen there is new to the hybrid is you'll be able to get the hybrid in a three-way set now. You couldn't in the past, you could get a hybrid set of components and the Integra version, which is the coaxial, but now you'll be able, this for the first time, you'll be able to get the Integra, I'm sorry, the hybrids with the mid-range. It is gonna be a dome mid-range, as we talked about, a cone mid-range versus a dome mid-range. They're getting the dome mid-range in their line, which you can see there in the center of the screen looking all sexy. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited. Uh, I didn't, we've played with the hybrid before. Yes. And you really and you I really like the, the way they yes. sounded. We it's just, just didn't know what was the reason. For yeah, it. you know, it's like I admit I'm a fanboy, but the hybrid was always just that oddball line. But now it makes a lot of sense, and I'm excited that they finally come out with a three-way set because we can do a lot with it. So right. for those of you guys that are wanting to get in Morel, are looking to get that Morel sound, but you know, obviously you don't want to put 200 watts to a set of speakers because you got a three-inch voice coil to move. The hybrid is for you. Mm -hmm. Now, another speaker that they came out with, we talked about that pancake speaker that you know we've been super excited about. Uh, we just put a set in that funky little van that we did, the yep. Subaru van. They're getting an update already. This speaker line has literally <laughs> only been out for what seems like maybe 18 months. Yeah, probably. But because yeah. of its popularity, um, so in the video they talk about how it was utilitarian design. Like mm -hmm. they came out with it to fit a need or a hole in the industry, yes. not realizing how big it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. Like it, it just was like, oh my gosh, people would just gravitate. Once they found out how good it sounded, they were all over it. So they went back to the speaker to see what they could change to improve it. Yeah. And of course, that new grill that you see there, I love the, the grill on this. To me, this is like, because, I mean, even when we put those in, I was like, man, I wish it had a full mesh grill. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, uh, two days later, we find out it's going to be shipping with well, a full mesh grill. Yes, I feel that uh, they, they just carry from the uh, home audio speaker. Yeah. That kind of grill, you know, that well, that's, style. That's the Lotus grill yeah. that you're seeing on the tweeter. Yeah. But so. I, I'm glad that they finally did that because... The other thing too uh, is that it's a new basket design because mm -hmm. they have to incorporate the grill into the basket so it's not a two piece. Yep. Uh, so the grill just snaps in. So if you want to use it with a grill, you don't want to use it with the grill. Um, there you go. You just put it in place. Uh, and these, of course, are the Vertus Nano Carbons. They also went back and did the same thing to the Integra version. Yeah. So now we're going to see a brand new Integra version as well. Super excited about that. Yeah, right? Yeah. 
Um, and that's it. That's it. That's what we got. They also talked about finally coming out with the 45th anniversary amplifiers. Uh, so those will be starting to ship here shortly. But that's it, guys. That takes us to a half hour. That's the news. That's it. Um, that's DNS news. also have a new amplifiers. Okay. We'll have to do more. But yeah. that's it for today, guys. That takes us to a half hour. That's what we promised you. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching the news with us. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let us know if you're watching this after the comments. Uh, tell us what you think. Tell us uh, what you David, think. Tell us if you enjoyed David, it. David, it's the winner for the... The Ground, Ground Zero, Zero mug. Yep. Uh, contact. We'll just go back and i give you the email where you can con reach out to me and get you there. We'd like to thank Ground Zero for being a sponsor of the show, uh, of the new show. So mm -hmm. thanks to them for celebrating 25 years in the industry. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later. Of course, we'll see you tomorrow on the regular channel with the Saturday show. We get to answer all you your fun questions That's and right. have lots of great time. And with that, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.